Could we modern people dream that in just a few years we would see an animal that became extinct almost 5,000 years ago? It's incredible, but true. We will see a hybrid of a real mammoth and a modern elephant live. Today the news is literally full of bright headlines. Cloning a mammoth. The mammoth will rise again. Return of Ice Age animals. Well, and the like. Let's figure out what's really going on. Researchers from the American biotechnology company Colossal are preparing to resurrect the extinct woolly mammoth. $15 million have already been raised for the implementation of this fantastic project. The elephant genome is used as a basis. And the most important role in this is played by the CRISPR genome editing technology. According to scientists, the first mammoths will have short tusks. This is done in order to prevent curiosity from the poachers, who today destroy elephants on a large scale for the sake of their tusks. Colossal co-founder Ben Lamb explained that never before has humanity been able to harness the power of this technology to restore ecosystems, heal our Earth, and preserve its future by repopulating extinct animals. Scientists plan to raise the new mammoth completely artificially without the participation of elephants and other animals. Researchers say the first cubs can be expected within six years. The scale of this experiment is enormous. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of mammoths, each taking 22 months to gestate and 30 years to grow to maturity, said Dr. Victoria Herridge, an evolutionary biologist at the Natural History Museum. Also, a project to revive mammoths has been developing in the center for six years now. Molecular paleontology, which is located in Yakutsk, is already a Russian experiment. As we have already said in previous issues about mammoths, domestic scientists plan to begin the revival process in December 21st. Most scientists have tried and are trying to clone animals, but the Colossal Company decided to take a slightly different path. The fact is that the cloning process itself still has many pitfalls and 100% results. The company plans to edit the elephant gene to produce a mammoth with the specified parameters. Artificial mammoth is something new. Colossal scientists believe the frost-resistant elephant will help preserve permafrost. However, not all representatives of the scientific world agree with them. Many criticize the project, pointing to the fact that the individuals will become adults only after 30 years and the benefits of trampling moss and destroying trees to preserve permafrost seem questionable to some. And why did they decide to resurrect the mammoth? And not an ancient dog or a saber-toothed tea game? The reason is this. The mammoth is one of those fossils that became extinct relatively recently. That is, the DNA by paleontological standards, is quite fresh and suitable for experimental processes. And of course, as scientists themselves say, humanity is to blame for the mammoths and that it was they who destroyed them, and the resurrection of the mammoth is a kind of apology to the nature of the animal world. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment and give it a thumbs up. Ring the bell so you don't miss new and interesting releases from our channel. The thoughts of paleontologists and other scientists are as follows. The revival of mammoths is necessary to combat global warming. There is an opinion in scientific circles that in prehistoric times, large animals trampled and compacted thick layers of snow, which prevented extreme cold from penetrating the soil, and now in the absence of these animals nothing like this happens.
This fact, combined with significantly warmer summers, is accelerating the melting of permafrost and the release of greenhouse gases that have been trapped under the snow for many millennia. If the Woolly Mammoth Revival Project is successful, it could change the very atmosphere and climatic conditions in the Arctic. For people who still cannot understand the benefits of the mammoth population for the Arctic region, scientists explain that when mammoths roamed the expanses of the Arctic tundra, they fertilized and plowed the land, creating favorable conditions for the appearance of other species of animals in this area. Bison, horses, reindeer, and musk oxen. At the same time, the diversity of the plant world also increased, turning the inhospitable terrain into a fertile steppe. When the mammoths disappeared, the real nature of the Arctic steppes completely changed in a very bad way. Scientists also announced another option for the so-called mammoth cloning. The fossil embryos will be carried by female Indian elephants, which are similar in genetics to mammoths and may well bear such large animals. Of course, this begs the question, what's worse about African elephants? After all, they are much larger. So far, no answers have been given on this topic, but we are confident that as such an event approaches, we will learn more truthful information on this news. When this goal is achieved, the authors of the project will be able to think about where the first mammoth of our time will settle. But there are many skeptics who are sure that newborn mammoths may not survive or even be born at all. Several thousand years have passed, and during this time much has changed in nature and the restored species risk being left without a comfortable ecological niche. And of course there are many questions. The Indian elephant lives in the equatorial zone, and the mammoth, covered with thick hair, lived in the Arctic regions. It turns out that a baby mammoth may be left without a mother, because it may not survive in hot conditions, and the elephant will not be able to live in a cold climate. And of course there are many mysteries in this significant event, the answers to which we will soon find out. Also, this incredible process, if the results are positive, can lead to the emergence of other extinct animals. Animals that became extinct relatively recently, on par with a mammoth. In 2018, a foal of the Lena horse, a species that went extinct four millennia ago, was discovered in the Batagay Basin, about 295 feet deep. As radiocarbon dating has shown, the young animal, which drowned in the mud at the age of about two weeks, lay in permafrost for 42,000 years. Scientists were amazed at the preservation of the body. The horse had all its internal organs, skin and fur intact, and its muscles retained their natural reddish tint. When the carcass began to be examined at the Northeastern Federal University, it was discovered that liquid blood remained inside the foal's blood vessels and heart. It is likely that scientists and cloning specialists will not ignore this extinct animal. Scientists also have other candidates for cloning, these include cave lions, prehistoric dogs, woolly rhinoceroses, and extinct species of bison. Beautiful mummies of these animals were found in the Yakut permafrost. However, so far only one of the extinct species has been resurrected, and even then not for long. The Iberian goat clone lived only seven minutes and died from severe lung pathology. Despite this failure, the event itself inspired many scientists with the idea of resurrecting animals, at least those that became extinct due to the fault of humans in the 20th and 21st centuries. With the hope of future cloning, scientists are creating repositories of DNA from living beings. 
For example, in San Diego there is a frozen zoo, which contains cells of more than a thousand species of animals from around the world, including rare and endangered ones, in liquid nitrogen. Many believe that cloning is simply necessary for the northern white rhinoceros, because there is not a single male left in the wild. Of course, there is a lot of controversy surrounding these cloning topics. Some are on the side of cloning, while others are categorically against it. That's all, because it's called going against the natural processes of our nature. But no one wants to mark time year after year either. Therefore, the majority of the world community accepts cloning and supports all these incredible experiments. Scientists say that cloning is the future of our civilization, and there is some truth in this. What do you think about this? Leave your opinions in the comments on this topic. Like and subscribe to our channel if you are interested in the prehistoric world. And also don't forget to click on the bell to be the first to see new and interesting releases from the Real Unreal channel.